I am an avocado farmer and I came out to my grove this evening to teach you how to know when your avocado is ready to eat. Avocados do not ripen on the tree and when we pick them they are as hard as bowling balls. This is called a choquette variety avocado and listen to this. This thing is hard as a rock. It just came off the tree. It will be seven to 10 days at room temperature before this avocado is ready to eat. An avocado is ready to eat when it is uniformly soft around the whole body. So look, I'm pressing into this and as you can see, it's giving a little bit. Look at, watch, see how my finger, it just gives just a little bit, right? But it's uniform. It's giving uniformly all around the fruit. Now, if, if you squeeze your fruit and it's a little soft on this side, but this side's still a little bit hard, you need to give it another day. Let me take you through a timeline. So here's a choquette. I just picked it off the tree behind me about a minute ago. And look, as I showed you, hard as a rock. This guy here was picked about five days ago. And he's a little softer than the one I just picked, but he's still not ready yet. Look, I can't really press my fingers in. I'd have to like damage it if I wanted to make a dent in this. It's still not ready to eat, but he's softer. He's softer than this guy. He's softer than this guy that I just picked off the tree, but he's still not ready to eat. This one has about another day, day and a half at room temperature before we can eat it. Then this one here, he got away from me. I picked him two weeks ago. Look, he's, it's already black and brown and yucky. There's already some mold starting to form in a flat spot where it was sitting. You can feel where the skin is actually detached from the flesh. Look, it's starting to crack and open. Yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, there's a foul smell. Uh, this one has been off the tree too long. So with avocados, you really are looking for that Goldilocks scenario. This one is too hard. This one is too soft. This one is just right. But this guy, I'm gonna show you how I ripened it and I'm gonna show you also how we eat these avocados. The reason I wanna show you what I do to ripen an avocado is because there's a lot of old wives tales out there, a lot of jive, a lot of BS, a lot of stuff that's not gonna work. The way you know when your avocado is ready, like I said, you feel around it and it is soft. Now there's people out there that'll tell you if it still has the stem attached, it's not ripe and ready to eat. Well, that's not true because watch this. Here's a choquette, it's in season. I just picked it off the tree. Now look, I can just pop that little stem off with my thumb. This is not ripe and ready to eat. This guy still has seven to 10 days before it ripens. Another thing, it depends on how your fruit is picked. If you pick it by hand, a lot of times you pick the stem right off. Where when we use one of these baskets, it's got two sharp blades that create a V up here. And when the fruit goes in, it actually cuts the stem. So you're gonna get a little piece of the stem. Another old wives tale is that you could shake the avocado. And if you feel the seed moving around inside, it's ripe and ready to eat. Well, I don't know if you can hear this. The seed is loose inside of this choquette avocado. <laughs> It's not ready to eat. I just picked it five minutes ago. This has a week to 10 days before you could eat it. It has nothing to do with the stem. It has nothing to do with the seed being detached. And unlike other fruit, this bunch of bananas right here will start to ripen on the tree. I'll see them turning yellow. When I drive down my road, I'll see the yellow bananas. They'll be shouting to me, Tom, over here, over here. An avocado doesn't change colors when it's ready to eat. An avocado doesn't smell fruitier when it's ready to eat. The only way to know is to squeeze it and see that it's uniformly soft. Now here's what I do when I'm done picking, and this is what I want you to do when you get home from the market. Just take your avocados, sit them on the counter, and let them ripen at room temperature. Now me, since I go out every day and pick one or two so we have them to eat here in the house, I kind of put them in order. So this one was just picked a couple minutes ago. I picked it for, for you guys, right? So I'll put that right there, all the way to the left here. Then I got this guy I showed you that, that's almost ready. He's sort of soft, but not quite ready. He goes next. Then I got this one here. He's soft, he's ready to eat. In fact, we're gonna eat him right now. Then look, I got this guy here. 
we've already been eating him today. So when we just eat our way through an avocado, we just eat it, what's left, we just put it face down on a plate, take a few slices throughout the day, and then let me show you what we do with the pits. I keep these pots out here with potting soil and a little bit of fertilizer in them, and every time I cut open an avocado, I just walk out onto the back porch, stick the pit in the soil, I bury it about three-fourths the way, I leave about one quarter of it sticking out the top, pack it in nice, and then tomorrow when I go out to my nursery, I'll grab whatever pots here have seeds in them, and I'll take it and put it out in my nursery and care for it and grow a seedling. Now since I grow my own, I have the luxury of going out into the yard every day and picking one or two and keeping my pipeline going. You on the other hand, are probably going to get a whole bunch of them at the same time when you go to the supermarket. And you don't want all your avocados to ripen at the same time. You want to create the pipeline. So you can simulate, you can simulate my pipeline right here. You know, this was picked today. This was picked about five days ago. This was picked about seven days ago, ready to eat, right? You can simulate this pipeline by refrigerating your avocados. So when you get home from the market, take maybe three of them, just walk over to the fridge, and stick them right in the refrigerator. Then, every other day, go back to the fridge, take one out, put it in your pipeline, and you will have a staggered pipeline of ripening avocados because the refrigerator slows the ripening. So if I was to pick eight of these all on one day, and I put one on the counter, and I put seven in the fridge, and then every other day or so, or maybe every, every day, take one out of the fridge, they'll each ripen about one day after the other. Now you know when your avocado is ready to eat. You also know how to stagger the ripening in your kitchen using your refrigerator so you don't have to ripen them all at once. There's one more challenge avocado lovers have, which is how do I keep my avocado from going brown? When you cut this guy in half and eat half of it, you've got the, the other half sitting there completely exposed to the air. The browning we see in avocados is due to oxid, oxid, oxidization, oxidation, sorry about that. It's oxidation, it's the same as rust. It's exposure to the oxygen in the air. Well, I'm gonna show you a way to eat your avocado so that you minimize the exposure to oxygen. And that's to cut it in a wedge. So look at you just start at the top, go in with your knife, come down till you feel the pit, come around. Then swing around to the bottom, same thing, till you feel the pit, come back around like this, you have yourself a nice little wedge. But the other thing is, you've got minimal exposure here to oxygen. Plus, you can place it face down on a plate and stick it in your fridge if you want to, or we eat so much avocado at my house, we just stick it face down on a plate on the counter, and we'll just kind of come and take wedges as we need them for the rest of the day. Whereas if you cut this guy in half, you would have much more surface area of avocado flesh exposed to the oxygen in the air, and it would oxidize and turn brown for you. Another nice thing about cutting a spear of avocado like this is the skin peels right off. Look at how easy that comes off. And that's another area of frustration for avocado lovers. I think the three biggest areas of frustration are when do I eat it, how do I keep it from turning brown, and how do I peel the skin off? And look, there's not, there's not a, a gram of flesh wasted. That's pure skin coming off of that avocado. So now you have a spear. You can put a little garlic powder on there if you want, a little bit of salt, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, or in my case with these choquettes, I like them just as they are. Just take yourself a bite. Mmm. Oh, that is such a good avocado. Now, these don't taste like the Hass. These are a much more mild flavored avocado. They're lower in oil content, and they've got like a nutty aftertaste, almost like biting into a, like a very faint walnut sort of flavor. And again, this is the Choquette variety. But like I say, this is how we eat them, and this is how all farmers eat them. And if you go to someone's farm, here's what they're going to do. If they have an avocado that's ready, they're going to take it like this, they're going to cut a little wedge for you, and then just offer it to you, just like this here, without even touching it, you know, they'll just have it by the knife. And then you just take it, look at that, the skin's coming right off, and you can just sample the variety of avocado 
he is sharing with you. And if you're someone who'd like to sample these delicious choquette avocados, you can get yourself a box at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. At guacfarm.com, we sell all kinds of tropical fruit when it's in season. Our biggest seller, of course, is our avocados. We've got like 20 different varieties. We also sell these cool shirts and these hats. Right now, we are in our prime avocado season, and I'm shipping lots of avocados all around the United States. And people are texting me, hey, I got the avocados. How do I know when to eat them? Well, now you know. Now, as you can see, it's getting dark. I had to do a very rare evening time video tonight because it rained all day. So I got to wrap things up and go inside before the sun goes down. While I do that, you go to guacfarm.com and I will see you on the next video.